After years of development and testing, EVS has released the new all-in-one attendance seat for ambulance use in North America. This seat is designed to safely restrain uninjured occupants from infant to adult. The system is our Pro 4. This four-point restraint can be used for most adults and provides the ability for wide range of motion for the EMT as required. The seat is equipped with our standard seat adjusters, allowing the seat to travel a bit over six inches fore and aft and is mounted on our cabinet base. I've disconnected the Pro 4 harness so that we can better demonstrate use of the child seats. When an uninjured child needs to be transported, weighs between 22 and 65 pounds, and can sit up on their own, you can use a method similar to the EVS high back safety seat that we introduced to the market in the early 1990s. The top portion of the insert is pulled down from the top of the seat panel. This panel contains instructions and two QR codes. One code will take you directly to the instructional video. The other code allows you to directly register the seat with EVS. Registration is important for direct notification of safety recalls on the seat or any of its components. When pulling this down, make sure that you fold it 180 degrees to fill the gap and provide extra cushion for the young occupant. Before placing the child into the seat, disconnect the chest clip and the buckle. Make sure that the straps are in the utmost position by pushing on the gray button and pulling on the sewn tab. The first adjustment after the child is in the seat is to further adjust the shoulder strap height as needed. If the child's shoulders are above the highest position and the child weighs less than 65 pounds, still use this harness seating position. Not only is this a temporary and typically short ride, but the seat has been tested successfully many times in this configuration. To complete securing the child into the child's seat, you'll want to take each tongue and insert it into the buckle until you hear it click. Next, connect the chest clip. The tension of the harness needs to be tightened at each hip, both sides, by pulling the web away from the seat. And once the harness is adjusted, be sure to move the chest clip to the child's armpit level. The third arrangement will be used when transporting a child that weighs between 5 and 22 pounds. To deploy the infant seat, use the red lever located at the seat bite, pulling out until it's in the locked position. Confirm the seat is fully deployed by trying to push it back the way it was pulled out. It should be firmly locked in this position. This system utilizes the same harness for infant and toddlers. As before, disconnect the chest clip and buckle prior to putting the child in the seat. With the child sitting correctly in the seat, confirm the position of the shoulder straps is at or below the child's shoulders. Adjust before securing the harness. Then secure the buckle, two tongues, the chest clip, and tighten the harness appropriately. The last step is to adjust the chest clip to armpit level of the child. When it is time to put the infant seat back into its stowed position, secure the harness and fold the seat back up as it is here. Use the red release handle on the side to unlock the seat from the deployed position. Place one hand on the bottom of the seat pad, push up and inward while pressing the handle in. Once the seat moves an inch or so, release the handle, press the assembly into the adult seat back until it is locked. When the child insert is flush with the seat back, it is in the locked position. Thank you for taking the time to learn about our new all-in-one child seat. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.